Right now, we're gonna drive over to check out a house and I'm gonna show you some things that the pros see that the noob real estate investors usually don't. I got inspired to do this because I was just on the private live stream this morning, which I don't know why I had to do that, but I did. If you don't know about the private live streams, hit the link below. All right, plugs over. Let's go. So this place just hit the market a few hours ago. Right out of the gate, first thing I noticed is older radio antenna, roof is about 15 years old, and the windows are original aluminum. This is a good sign that this deal might actually have potential in terms of being a good investment investment for a rental property. But let's see what else we find. First things first, flooring. Buyer comes in and says, oh my gosh, look at all this nasty carpet we gotta get rid of in this nasty linoleum over here. How much is it gonna cost us to get rid of all this stuff? And how are we gonna get our Brazilian hardwood in here? Pro Investor says, I have two options. I can re-carpet for a couple grand, throw some new linoleum in here and be done maybe for 2,500, three grand finished tops or other option, I could go with the beautiful luxury vinyl plank that I know is scratch resistant and waterproof and I'm not worried about doing any kind of hardwood anything, not worried about doing any fancy anything because this place is going to be a rental and I want this thing up in service ASAP. Next, newer investor says, oh, scrape ceiling, oh, that's so much work. Experienced investor says, not a big deal. Plenty of people do this pretty dang fast. Just make sure when you get it scraped, you also get somebody to quote retexturing it because people like to do that. Yeah, we'll scrape it, but we won't retexture it. Come on, they go together. Newer investor says, let's rip out the kitchen and let's open up the wall and, and let's expand this and do some new quartz countertops and awesome appliances. And, and it is gonna be beautiful and open to the family room. Experienced investor says, this is an 1120 square foot house. This is the only functional family room. If we cut a hole into this, we lose a functional seating area. Area. You're probably not gonna have bar stools here anyway because it's too far from over here. If you remove the wall without a permit, you're open to major liability from tenants. And if you remove the wall with the permit, you're bankrupt. <laughs> it's really expensive. Second part of that, investor says, maybe we paint the cabinets, throw on those quartz countertops and appliances, but we're leaving the cabinets. After all, it's just not that hard to take the wallpaper out and put on some new little knobs and you're good to go. Newer investor says, ooh, great wall unit. Perfect, it looks new too. Must not be a problem. Experience investor says, great, if I ever wanna add forced air or air conditioning, I now have to duct. That means we don't have any ducts in place. Newer investor starts adding up the square footage of the tiling to figure out how much it's gonna cost to replace all this tiling. Experienced investor says, tiling's in great shape. Let's glaze it white. Newer investor says, great, there's ceiling fans everywhere. Experienced investor says, well, did they mount it into a proper box? <sighs> Me thinks not. Newer investor says, cool, I got laundry. Experienced investor says, why are you using rubber hoses? You're asking for a water leak. Newer investor says the fence needs to be replaced. Experienced investor says we need a few nails and some paint. Newer investor says, do we need a new electrical system? Experienced investor says, oh, let's take a look-see. Hmm, copper, not aluminum, grounded. I'll add some GFIs and call it a day. Newer investor says there are cracks in the concrete. Experienced investor says, bro, it's a patio slab, it's fine. Newer investor says, I got gutters. Experienced investor says, 15 bucks for a water tray, man, come on. Newer investor says, I got orange trees. Experienced investor says, I got rats. <laughs> Newer investor gets quote, to pour concrete between house and garage access. Experienced investor says, which color mulch are we going with, brown or red? Newer investor says, all this grass is just full of weeds. It's almost, it's, it's, it's just all weeds. What are we gonna do? Experienced investor says, it's good enough for California. It's green, licks nice pictures, and it's good enough. New investor says, what if I need a budget for a roof replacement anytime soon? Experienced investor says, first of all, that roof probably has another 15 years on it, and if it leaks any single day before that, I'm patching the holes. So far, so good. Newer investor sees original windows starts getting quotes for dual paint windows experienced investor says these walls probably don't even have insulation why would i waste money doing dual paint windows <laughs> newer investor sees cool workbenches experienced investor sees who's going to take care of these mattresses and all this old junky paint so there you have it. Newer investor probably spends $80,000. Experienced investor probably spends under $40,000. Why? Because experienced investor is not making decisions like a newer investor is. And if you wanna learn how to be an experienced investor, then you should click the link in the description below so I can in detail with over 250 lectures teach you how to invest in real estate. And when you have questions beyond that, you could join the private live streams or the private discord and I can help you out personally. See, because sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of help. Look, the last thing you want to do is take an 1120 square foot house and end up building it into some kind of mansion that you can park your RV on. Now, that's great that this is across the street from this house. 
because you generally want to be the worst condition property on the street when you're buying, especially wedge deals. Now, a lot of you folks like knowing, well, how do you get a good deal on something like this? Well, first of all, because it just hit the market, it gets a little tricky to grind down too much unless there's a special motivation. Now, the fact that they put this on the market days before Christmas, to me, is a great sign of motivation. Now stay tuned for some market updates I have coming up, but this could be a good opportunity to chase. Personally, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of buyer competition because of the time of year, and that could make it a great opportunity to jump on. Now keep in mind, it's a little smaller than that median sized home of about 1,300 square feet we usually like, so there's a little bit of risk in that. But what there's not risk in is me running. So I hope you liked that episode of Noob vs. Experienced Investor. It is yet another new style of video as I continue to try to find myself in terms of how I want to provide you information on the YouTubes of the world.